summer night, biologist Mario Aldecoa takes to the swamp in search for an imperiled species. So you can see all the egg fragments. He's found a nest dug up by an American crocodile. It's pretty much the same size as a chicken egg. It's got a tough outer shell, and then inside it's got a flexible membrane, and that's what you see here. The summer months mean it's prime time for nesting. The crocs、um, time their their breeding and their nesting and the hatching to correspond to the rainy season. Here we go. <laughs> Baby crocs are found in the swamp that surrounds the Turkey Point nuclear power plant in South Florida. Aldecoa is part of a team hired by Florida Power and Light to monitor the hundreds of crocs that roam the waters here. Since the program started in, in 1978,、um, we've captured and marked a total of like 5,000 plus hatchlings. Aldecoa was able to find about a dozen baby crocs on this night trip. The fun part's over. That's capturing them. Now we're going to take them to the lab, and we're going to take a bunch of measurements, get some really good biometric data, and then we'll release them. The American crocodile is listed as endangered in Florida, but is federally listed as threatened. Wildlife officials say the species is still in recovery, and conservation efforts, such as those at the plant, are key for the species to continue to thrive. Which is why the hatching season is one of the most important aspects of the crocodile program here. Because one day, two or three years down the road, we might capture that same individual, and realize it's grown this much, it's traveled this far. It's obviously survived. Back at the lab, biologists record as much information about the crocs as possible. First thing we have to cut is the knife scale on the right, which means it's a turkey point animal. He's cutting the scutes or scales on the croc that serve as a sort of identification. Then each croc is weighed, 51.1, measured, 13.4, and a microchip is quickly implanted to be able to track them later on. When I see A 12 or 13 foot crocodile. I think to myself that crocodile, at one point, was a little hatchling, and it survived all the odds, and it grew up to be such a big, you know, dinosaur. They've been measured, weighed, and marked. Now it's time to release them back into the wild. Surviving in the wild will be the toughest part for the recent hatchlings. I often really do kind of think, you know, are they going to be okay at night? Are they going to get eaten? Uh, but at this point, we just let nature take its course, and we let them go. Thriving in the swamp, all while under a constant watchful eye. Suzette Leboy, Associated Press, Homestead, Florida.